Okay, in this little uh, uh, video here, we're going to look at the two shots that we did. Uh, one with the meter at the camera and one with the meter turned up towards the light. The Sunny 16 rule takes into account that the sun is always high in the, in the, in the sky. That's always up above our subject. And the uh, resulting angle changes the light a little bit. It always has. Uh, when light comes at an angle to something, it changes it. So the sun is in the sky, comes down, falls on this, and comes across to us. We have a large triangle of angle of the sun to the subject, subject to the camera, camera to the, to the light. So we took a meter reading and uh, got the gray here and uh, uh, shot this right at sunny 16. So let's see how, how well we did. Uh, here's our black and white right here. We're going to turn that on. So now we have black and white. So let's take our thing out here. And we've got uh, 134, 134, 132. Remember, middle gray is 128. So we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Okay, let's put that away. Let's open the second one. This is where we turn the dome up towards the light. Now the light is hitting the full dome. There's no shadow on the dome, like there would normally be on the dome if it was aiming to the camera. The shadow would be on the bottom part of the dome. Okay, let's do that. All right, so this is aimed up towards the dome. Let's make a black and white. Aimed up towards the, um, I'm sorry, black and white. Uh, aimed up towards the uh, light itself. So let's take a look at this one with our Invo palette. And we come out here and we're at 105.98. So this is darker than middle gray. Let's look at our white. 208, 207, 206. This is not white. Let's go back to the other one. Let's check our white out. 240 out of 255. That's pretty darn close. Going to our blacks. We're at 18. Right across here. 18, 19. Right across in there. Let's go back to this one. And we are at 10. So we're very, very dark on the black. So you can... Uh, uh, Work the the uh, we're going to look this at this again with strobe as well by the way but you can aim the uh, dome at the light if you wish uh, every time I've talked to a photographer who's done that that's their favorite way of of working um, they'll tell me that many times they naturally overexpose a third or or a half okay um, I understand uh, that's fine um, whatever uh, whatever works for you. And if you like the richer exposures, possibly you might uh, do that. But it does give a different value. We'll look at it again on the uh, on the one when we use strobes, and we're going to get that uh, up next.